If you are into AI images, AI video, content creation, filmmaking or social media, then today's video is going to be extremely helpful for you guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Hexfield, a powerful AI platform that actually brings together next gen image generation, cinematic video creation and even audio enabled scenes all in just one ecosystem. I will walk you through the four major Hexfield tools and explain what they do, who they are for and why creators are switching to this platform. So make sure you watch this video till the end. So basically Hexfield is an AI creative platform designed for the people who actually wants high quality visuals and videos without any complex workflows. So whether you are a YouTuber, a content creator, a designer or a filmmaker or someone building AI content, then Hexfield gives you production ready output, not just experimental AI results. So let's start with the first tool that is Nano Banana. In the image section, you will find this Nano Banana. So you have to click here and yeah, your Nano Banana is open. Now you can see the images that I can create from this. I have given the prompt to Nano Banana. Basically, this model is focused on quality and accuracy. And honestly, this is where it really stands out. And here I have given the prompt to this nano banana and it is creating a realistic image for me. And yeah, it will give you the best resolution. Nano Banana Pro lets you generate image in 1K, 2K and even 4K quality. And if you already have a low resolution image, you can also upscale it to a clean 4K without losing its sharpness. This is a big deal. Text in images usually breaks in AI tools, but here, Headlines, UI labels, logos, packaging text actually comes out clear, readable and stable. Nano Banana Pro understands logical inside images and if you prompt things like, let's suppose three cups and two books, storyboard. So these are all the things that Nano Banana actually understands, the mathematical equations, the diagrams and the whiteboards as well. The model actually respects count, structure and meaning. Then the best part of using Nano Banana is that it actually identifies the face and controls. So let's say if you put any character and stay consistent across angles, lighting and outfits, which is perfect for brand characters, storytelling and ad creatives. So here it is. As you can see, I have given them the more outfit desires and how I have want my professional to look. So we'll get that image. And here I got the professional image as per my prompt. The modern young professional standing confidently and in urban environment area. Next, moving to the Kling 2.6. So here I have the Kling 2.6. This is one of the tools which is very helpful if you are someone who want to create a multimodal video engine, meaning it generates visuals, motions, voice and ambience too, all in just one go. Here I have given a prompt and let's hit on generate and let's see what we'll get. And here's the complete scene that I got from my prompt. Yes guys, I got the native audio generation, means I have the dialogues, ambient sound and mood are generated together better motion fidelity as well like i can see multiple objects stay stable camera movement looks so smooth and intentional high prompt accuracy it understands actually the emotions the framing actions and the packing so whatever prompt that i have given it so it seems exactly the same i will play this video for you so that you can also hear the sounds properly Be close the night isn't kind i can handle whatever comes Moving to the third tool, which is 1.2.5. So here we go. Inside videos under 1.2.6 and here we are. And here I have given the prompt to 1.2.5 and let's see what it generates for me. And here is the 1.2.6 uncensored, culture native and internet ready video. Basically it supports celebrations, stylist prompts and bold and creative ideas. What makes it special, to be honest, the audio plus motion in just one pass. Lip sync is there, voiceover we can see properly, 
sound effects than the camera movements. So as per our prompt, the video is totally ready. A peaceful outdoor scene of a person walking along a tree lined pathway in the morning. And this scene is actually same that I wrote in this prompt. Up to 10 seconds of video, multiple aspect ratio like for TikTok, Reels, YouTube Shorts and all in full 1080p output. If you are a short form creator, this model is extremely helpful for you guys. Next, we will move to the fourth tool that is Cinema Studio and we'll see how it works. And here I have given my prompt to create a cinematic sequence of a confident young professional in a modern city environment. And then I have provided the shots like I want a wide shot of a clean modern city. Then in shot two, I want the characters walking naturally through the city street like in a confident posture. Then in the close up, I have asked them to enter subtle facial expression, showing focus and optimism. So. Basically, this cinema studio is an end-to-end -end filmmaking workflow. Instead of jumping between tools, you can generate uh, animations, turn into video, control composition, and to be honest, can maintain cinematic consistency. What actually makes cinema studio powerful is the text to image, image to video in just one flow and built with the cinematic rules. And here we have our cinematic video ready. So this is it for the cinema studio one. And to be honest, the real uh, cinema cinematic videos looks like cinema cameras and lenses. These act as a single anchor. So your shots stay consistent. The output feels obviously cinematic, not just a random generated visuals. So this is the perfect example for the short films. And if you're a serious content creator, a designer or a filmmaker, then do try this now building AI based visuals and it help you to get rid of the low quality AI outputs. So all the tools I mentioned here are Nano Banana, Pro, Kling 2.6, Want 2.6 and Cinema Studio are available on the Higgs field. And I have added the links in the description box so that you can make sure to click on it and get it for you. And if you found this video helpful, then don't forget to like this video and also do try these tools that I have demonstrated today from your end as well and do generate unrealistic images with good superb quality. And if you want to create it, all the links I have pasted in the description box. So yes. If you want to, you know, subscribe my channel, then do subscribe and comment if you want a hands-on demo or tutorial for more. Till then, bye-bye.